this game kind of came out of the blue, and uh, I've seen a lot of people doom posting it, and I really just don't think it's necessary. Now here's the thing, I used to be a massive Genshin Glazer. I was a Genshin channel. You can see that the last time I posted was roughly a year ago, and the main reason for that was just because. I was tired of what Genshin was becoming, and I was tired of how Hoyo was treating its player base. And honestly, this game has been exactly what I wanted Genshin to be. Now, obviously, it's taking inspiration from Genshin Impact quite heavily, quite literally. Have you seen the HUD? <laughs> Genshin Impact obviously took inspiration from Breath of the Wild, and four years ago, that's what people were really mad about. And so now, people are upset at Wuthering Waves for being heavily inspired by Genshin Impact. Being inspired is totally fine, as long as they strive to improve what's already there. And honestly, I thought I was done with these kind of gacha games after being burned by Genshin Impact. Um, which is why I didn't plan on playing HSR when it came out. But after being persuaded by my friends, I decided to give HSR a shot. And I ended up liking it so much that I still play it to this day. And the main reason why I'm still playing it is because the developers of HSR have been really good at keeping the player base, adding new endgame, and pretty much just doing everything that Genshin was supposed to do. And so, yes, I was very much going into this game hoping that it could be what Genshin decided not to be. And my takeaway so far is that, yes, it is exactly what I wanted. Let's start with the combat. The combat is very fast paced, in depth, and heavily skill based. And they have this great feature, at least I think it's a feature, called swap canceling. The swap canceling allows characters to linger on field to finish some of their attacks. And during that window, you can swap to another character to continue your DPS while that other character finishes their attack. It's super satisfying and it makes for a great skill cap. Next thing, world exploration. World exploration is just as fun as Genshin's, in my opinion. And the puzzles are pretty fun too. Now, I'm sure it'll get tiring after a while because Genshin's also got tiring after a while. But as of right now, after taking a break from these type of games, it's pretty fun. And because of that, I 100%ed every single area in the game. Moving on, of course this game has an endgame grind, an artifact grind, a relic grind, but the way they vary it is actually super interesting and awesome. It's the echo system. So these echoes essentially act as your artifacts, your relics. But the difference is, is that each echo has an active skill or a combat skill that you can equip and then use in your rotations, in your combos. And because of that, the builds become a little bit more interesting because you actually care whether or not the combos or the attacks from these Echoes do damage. And they can also be swap cancelled too. And last but not least, I think this game is very beautiful. Now there have been people saying otherwise, but I actually just think they're blind. Um, in particular, the lighting and the character models in this game are really detailed and deserve the praise that they've been getting. And the animation quality as well, wow, wow, like, it's top. Have you seen the ultimates? Especially the inlands. Now, uh, it seems like I'm shilling for the game and, well, I'll be real with you, I, I kinda am, but, you know. <laughs> um, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, there's a lot of problems with this release, which is why it's gotten so much Doom posting. Let's take the story, for example. Um, it's been pretty terrible to eh, to pretty good. I'll break it down. Acts 1 to 2 were terrible, Acts 3 to 4 were eh, and Acts 5 to 6 were noticeably a lot better. GN's story quest was cool, Yinlin's story was okay, and Ling Yang's story was okay. But that's honestly not my biggest concern. In terms of story, I actually have way more problems with the localization, as in the English dub. Because if you've played it, the English dub in this game is... I'll be frank, it's, it's terrible. It's so bad. Which is a shame, because they have great voice actors. The cast is actually great. But whoever directed them, oh my goodness, man, have you... 
you've heard Yang Yang. If you haven't heard Yang Yang's voice, search it up. It's not good. And on top of this, it has been a very buggy release, admittedly. Like, I play on controller, for example, and a lot of the menus and event menus just don't work with a controller. Like, let's take this for example. I joined a friend's world to play co-op, and uh, I realized I couldn't switch characters. Now, I thought this was just a weird co-op thing, like you can't switch characters in co-op. No, I just need to use my keyboard and mouse to switch my characters. It just doesn't let you do it with a controller for some reason. It's small things like that that makes the experience feel less refined. Because, I'll be real with you, I don't remember Genshin 1.0 being this buggy. And to me, this would be a way bigger deal than it is if it wasn't for the reputation that Kuro Games has and what they've been showing to us already. From PGR, they are known as the company that responds to the players and addresses issues straight up. And that's exactly what they've been doing regarding the buggy slash rough release of this game. And I'll just be real with you, they like Hoyo has never done that, at least not for Genshin Impact. They don't respond to player feedback, really, because otherwise Genshin would be very different. And that's why I want to stick with this game. I think this is the first game that will force Genshin Impact to improve. It's no Genshin killer, nothing can kill Genshin except for Hoyo themselves. But it will be the first Genshin competitor. And that is great, that's great for both games honestly. Because now that it will force Genshin to improve, Genshin will get better. And then when Genshin gets better, it will force Kuro Games to improve. And that's honestly just the best of both worlds. But yeah, the game will be fine. Don't even stress about it. And if you haven't played it, go ahead and give it a shot. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic, honestly. But yeah, that's it. So see you later.